So I wanted to check out a bunch of music venues in Austin to help understand the Austin music scene and just to have some fun. So if you want to take a look at what Austin looks like in the music scene, then check out this video. And some of these places are pretty famous and many people will recommend them. Some of them I went to because folks that I met recommended them to me. So let's get this started. Number one is the Broken Spoke. This place is pretty famous and notable. It's the last of the true Texas dance halls. And they've got a museum inside where they show you all of the uh, famous folks who've came through there. They call it the Tourist Trap, that museum with all that memorabilia. So they got photos with George Strait, Willie Nelson, Bob Wills, Jerry Jeff Walker, Joe Ely, and so on. Now when I went there, the State Line Band was playing. They were a really good band, had some good dancers out there. They had dance lessons before, and you could watch the uh, dance instructor poke fun at all the tourists for doing their tourist things and trying to train them to uh, go the right way on the dance floor and not get in people's way and so on. Next up is Don's Depot. It was recommended that I check it out on a Monday. Now Chris Gage has a residency here every Monday for a long time. And when I visited the place, I could see why, because it was something really engaging, something really special about the atmosphere here. He did such a great job playing and engaging the crowd. And uh, Chris Gage has played lead guitar with Jerry Jeff Walker. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Next up is the Texas Chili Parlor. Now, this is not really a music venue as far as I know, but it was featured in the Guy Clark song where he says, I wish I was in Austin at the Chili Parlor Bar drinking Mad Dog Margaritas and not caring where you are. So I had to go to there to get the Mad Dog Margaritas. Now, they're very serious about their chili too, so you need to get their famous chili that they recommend. It's got really big bits of meat. And the Mad Dog Margaritas really live up to their reputation. Mainly, what's so special, I think, is that they've got a lot of alcohol in them, and it hits you pretty quickly, and that feels good. Now, this is not in any particular order, but number four on the list here is the Little Longhorn Saloon. It calls itself the honkiest, tonkiest beer joint in town, and the original home of Chicken Shit Bingo. Holy shit. Big deal. It was a nice little saloon, a cool little area, and the band Bakersfield, Texas was playing. They were a good band, and they had some dance in there too. Next up is this place called the Highball. Now there's a lot of events and things that happen at the Highball, I think. And uh, sometimes they've got music and dancing. This place is right next to the Alamo Draft House in South Lamar. And they had a good fun band playing when I went with a bunch of people dancing. Next up is Seaboys. This is in South Congress. Seaboys calls itself the swankiest club in South Congress. Say it's a neighborhood juke joint with soul and R&B music. And I went there when the modern Don Juans were playing. They were quite the performer, as you would expect from the modern Don Juans. <laughs> Also in South Congress is the Continental. This is one of those most famous and notable places in Austin. It's one of the oldest continuously running clubs in Austin for 60 years, and many Austin legends have played there, including Stevie Ray Vaughan. When I was there, the Bell Furies were playing, Rockabilly Band, and this was just really interesting and great to see. South Congress was exciting that night, bunch of motorcycle, almost like a parade. Actually, uh, maybe not so exciting, but uh, busy. People were supporting the band here playing rockabilly music, which I thought was really nice. A lot of times, uh, Friday nights like these in a popular spot, you get a cover band trying to appeal to the large audience. This was a pretty unique band with a nice uh, rockabilly style that was unique. Next 
next up we got sagebrush sagebrush is my favorite this was the funnest night that i've had so far in my time in texas when lucas hudgens was playing he was really good with his band and you'll notice if you see this video these people dancing they actually know how to dance want to throw some shade i'm a little bit disgruntled because i don't know how to dance i feel like i don't know how to dance in houston because whatever moves they expect me to do I'm not doing and they don't try to follow the moves that I try to lead and so I am a, basically a bad dancer uh, in most of the places outside of Austin. So I hope you enjoyed this video giving a view of the music scene of Austin and a glimpse of Austin. It's a bit of a hodgepodge I know. I like it that way. A little bit randomness. Gotta insert some randomness in there. So I do post about my music and my musical experiences here on this channel. So hit that subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my posts. Let me know in the comments what other places I should be checking out. And thanks for your support. Thanks for checking out this video.